Welcome to the world of tattoo stereotypes. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm what my mother refers to as her artsy fartsy kid, and what the teachers refer to as the student that never stops drawing on her homework. I can't help it. I'm a tattoo artist. Or, that's what I plan to be. It all started in first grade when I could not stop drawing Lion King characters on my homework, and I'm stuck inside these high school walls with a little more than two years left to go, learning about geometry, ge biology, zoology, and worst of all, Jane Eyre. When I was younger, my mother would yell at me for having so many doodles on myself. She would say that it looked dirty, and then and that people would mistake me for a disorganized person. But one day, when I was in fifth grade, I looked up at her and said in response, but mom, your tattoos don't make you look like that. And on that day, my mother accepted her losing battle and accepted that no matter how hard she harped at me for a drawing on myself, it wasn't going to stop. Tattoos have been around for over 5,200 years. With numbers like that, there must be something right. As time has expanded, the stereotypes have just gotten stronger and stronger. Tattoos have been compared to biker gangs, sluts, gay people, slave drivers, anything under the sun that people construe as bad, tattoos have been mistaken with. But with all of the diversity and stereotypes, it just shows that they have been spread throughout racial, sexual, and just human diversity. A large and very religious stereotype is what tattoo artists refer to as the Christian standpoint. Basically, all it says is that those who get tattoos and are defacing their body and are definitely going to hell and will no longer be accepted by God. I can't argue this point, because that would be like arguing the existence of God to these people. I can't tell you where people go with or without tattoos go after they die. My only argument is, neither can they. My favorite stereotype is something I, genu I generally agree with, that the human body is beautiful without, an without having a needle replace pigments in your skin with ink. I completely agree with that. But just as some people choose to wear makeup, pierce their ears, or even dye their hair to make them feel more accepted by themselves, tattoos are a derivative of that. Tattoos are a choice, and yes, they're a scary one. These marks are being pressed into your skin by a rapid punctuation of needles emphasizing your pores. There's nothing not scary about that. But the scariest part, especially for me, is the commitment. At the age of 12, my brother was killed in a fatal car accident. By the age of 13, I had already found two of his signatures I wanted to be a part of my body forever. By 15, I had convinced my parents to let me get them under the condition that I finished my online science course. On December 5th of 2014, at the age of 15, I got my first two tattoos, and now at the age of 16, I have, I have devoted my life to the inevitable goal of bringing people the joy that my tattoo artist brought me. As we progress, the stereotype that you will not get a job because of tattoos has, that has diminished more and more in places are accepting of tattoos, piercings, dye hair, and any body modifications that are in place now. The purpose of this video is not to convince you to love tattoos or to even get one, but you need to understand the ink on someone's skin isn't who they are. Yes, it's a reflection of them, but it's not them as a whole. My main message is, get to know the people underneath the ink, show someone who, really, who you really are, and allow yourself to open up to someone that you wouldn't normally. Show people that you can be accepting of them no matter what they have on their body. And most importantly, please tattoo responsibly. Thanks.